How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called convert sorted array to binary search tree. This is a common question asked by Google and Apple. The problem description says given an array where elements are sorted in ascending order converted to a height balanced binary search tree. For this problem a height balanced binary search tree is defined as a binary search tree in which the depths of the two subarrays of every node never differ by more than one. So if we're given this array one possible answer they're telling us is to return something that uh, represents this tree. So we'd really just be returning the root reference to it and therefore uh, a reference to every node in the tree. So really guys, um, just a quick tip, like anything you typically do with a tree can be done recursively. So the fact they wanna give us, that they want us to give them a, a binary search tree, we should probably think recursively. And then on top of that, the other thing we should try and pick up on is the fact that the elements are sorted in ascending order. So if we're given a sorted array, we actually are going to want the middle element to be the root. So here, um, zero is our middle element. And then what we would do is we'd set this as the root, which we do here. And then we want to recurse and set the left subtree. So this part of the tree, just the three and the 10, negative three and negative 10. Um, we'd want to call this function that we write recursively on the left half of the array. And similarly, we'd want to set the right half of the, sorry, the right subtree of the root, so nine and five, to the right subtree, or sorry, the right uh, half of this array. So hopefully that made sense, but basically we're going to, every time pick the middle element, set that as the root of the current subtree, whatever level, whatever level we're on, and then we're going to recursively call and set the left and right subtree of that node that we're on. So hopefully that made sense. It's a little hard to describe. Hopefully once we start writing the code, it'll become a bit more clear. So again, you guys know I like to do error checking first. So typically I'll just say something like if nums uh, is null or nums dot length is zero, we'll just return null. And then the other thing I like to do with recursive solutions is I like to just kind of have my error checking and then if the error checking checks out, I just like to call my recursive function and basically say, like, give me the answer. So I'll call this construct BST recursive, and we'll pass this, sorry, we'll pass this our array of nums, we'll pass this zero, which will be our left pointer to begin with in our binary search, and nums.length minus one, which will represent our right pointer. Now we'll make our recursive function, so we'll say private, tree node is what we're going to return. This is uh, the definition of a tree node, leak code tells us. And we're going to name it construct BST recursive. We're going to take an array of integers called nums. We'll take an int representing the left pointer and an int representing the right pointer. And now we need to deal with our base case, right? So typically your base case in a binary search is if your pointers cross. So if that's the case, if left, which should always be left and uh, less than right, right, because that represents the left pointer and this is the right pointer. So if they cross, which means left is strictly greater than your right, we just want to return null. So this is this will basically be when we're like at the leaves of, an, of, a, of the tree. And now we need to recurse or return to all of our previous calls. Um, so this will be kind of the recursion bubbling back up. So now, I shouldn't have said recurse, but this is bas basically all the recursive calls returning to one another to actually construct the tree now. So if we're not at our base case, we said we want to find the middle element. So we'll do that by calculating a mid. So we'll say left plus right minus left. And we'll divide this by two, which will give us the middle element. And now we'll actually make our node. So we'll call this current equals new tree node. And we're just going to set this equal to nums mid, right? So that's why we calculated the midpoint. So we can grab the middle number in whatever um, section of the array that we're in. Now all that's left to do is set current.left equal to something and current.right equal to something. So again, this is recursive, right? So we're gonna set the left subtree to nums. And then this is where we just change our pointer. So if we wanna do the left half, right? Because everything that's less than the current node we're on. So we'll keep left wherever it is and we'll just change right to be mid minus one. And now for current.right, it's very similar, except we're just going to do uh, a little bit of modification to the right pointer, or sorry, the left pointer, because now we want to start at mid plus one. 
And right. And so finally, once this actually finishes, and all the recursive calls return and bubble all the way back up to our initial call, all we'll have to do, hopefully, is return current. I know it seems kind of hand wavy. I know it seems kind of magical, but recursion is a little tricky. Uh, if this is tough for you guys, try and trace through all these calls that are going to be made from this call, which is the base call, to all the uh, the next uh, recursive calls. Um, and maybe I can even make a video kind of going over recursion in more depth. But let's see if this works. Awesome, it does. Let's check out our details. Leak code tells us we passed 32 out of 32 test cases and we're in the 100th percentile. So guys, that's the common interview question convert sorted array to binary search tree. It's asked by Google and Apple. Make sure you can do it. Make sure you understand recursion. If you guys need any help, let me know. I hope this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Um, good luck on your interviews and I'll see you guys next time.